Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and improvements from Windows 10 build 18965 through build 18975. These previews are part of the Windows 10 20H1 update arriving sometime in spring 2020. We have a few changes to cover so let's get started. As part of the 20H1 update, Microsoft is updating the Cortana app which you can now resize and drag around just like a normal application. In the past it will just be attached to the taskbar but it's not the case anymore. Now you can drag it around and resize like any other app. It is not a significant change, but it shows how the app is now transforming into a more regular application instead of a feature integrated into Windows 10. In this new version, Windows 10 is also getting a new tablet experience designed for two-in-one devices. Well, it is not technically a new interface, it is just an optimization of the familiar desktop experience without interruptions and improvements for touch. For example, now when you enable the tablet mode on Windows 10, this will happen automatically if you actually are using a two-in-one device. You will see improvements such as increased spacing between the icons in the taskbar, the search box, will collapse into an icon so you have more space in the taskbar. Also, when you open File Explorer, the app will actually switch to an optimized version that has a layout that it's more easy to use with touch. And as you can see at the bottom right corner, now you will see the icon for the touch keyboard. But now if you need to type using touch, as soon as you tap on a text field that requires typing, the actual keyboard will appear automatically. It doesn't happen on my device because I'm actually using a virtual machine, so I can show you that part, but I can show you that the keyboard button appears and when you click it, it will open so you can start typing. And that's pretty much all that's new with the uh, new tablet experience on Windows 10 for two-in-one devices. Also, I just wanted to point out, I don't know if you noticed, but now when you come to the tablet settings page, so now you have to click this option to get into the tablet settings where you can actually enable or disable the feature. And you also have uh, several new options that you can enable or disable whether you're using tablet mode or not. Because it's important to back up your data in the regular basis, starting with this new version, Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro users without a backup solution will now see a friendly reminder, as you can see right here, to set up a file backup using the built-in option on Windows 10. So basically when you get that reminder, you can click view to view the backup options, which it will just open the backup settings where you can set up file history or you can sign in with OneDrive to backup your profile folders such as desktop, documents and pictures to the cloud. Starting with build 18975, the notification settings introduces a new option, which is this one right here that allows you to disable the post upgrade setup page, which looks something like this. So when you upgrade to a new version, you will still need to set up or adjust settings for new features. So the new option on the notification settings allows you to skip those steps so you can do them later on. Also in this new version, Windows 10 separates the ability to restart apps automatically on reboot from this option. So this means that moving forward, if you want apps from the previous session to open automatically on reboot, you will have to turn on the new restart apps option. Finally, starting with build 18970, Windows 10 is updating the Reset This PC recovery feature with the ability to download the installation files from the cloud to reinstall the OS on your computer. The new cloud download option will reinstall the same build, version, and addition that is currently installed on your device. So this is available for both options, either if you want to keep your files or remove everything. When you click that option, you will now see two additional options that allows you to download and reinstall Windows 10 from the cloud, or you can still choose to reinstall Windows using the image that the system creates automatically from the files already available on your device. Of course, this 
the uh, cloud download option will require a little more space to download the files from your computer. So you have to make sure that you have at least here it says like four gigabytes, but still you might still require a few extra gigabytes. So eight or 12 will be ideal to use this feature. Otherwise you may run into some issues. So this is a straightforward process. So when you're ready, you can just click the uh, cloud download option and click next. Click next again. And then the uh, process will take over and Windows 10 will reinstall with the files downloaded from the cloud. I'm going to click cancel because I don't need to do this process. And that's pretty much all that's new up to Windows 10 build 18975. If you want to learn more about these flights, click on the link in the video description below for more information. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.